I'm going to go ahead and introduce Amber Oberheim, um, widow of uh, Champaign police officer Christopher Oberheim. Good morning. My name is Amber Oberheim, and I am the wife of Champaign police officer Chris Oberheim, who was shot and killed in the line of duty. I am here today with our four daughters, Hannah, Avery, Addison, and Aubrey. Yesterday marked five months to the day that my husband went to work and did not come home. Chris was an excellent police officer. As a 20-year veteran of the police department, he was experienced and very knowledgeable. He was tactically sound, and he was a fair officer in every sense of the word. On May 19th, he and another officer were responding to a call for help and coming to the aid of a woman and her children. They engaged the perpetrator, and within seven and a half seconds, he began firing his unlawfully possessed gun at my husband and his partner. Within seconds, their bodies had been struck by bullets a total of six times. Despite being shot three times, my husband's partner thankfully survived his physical injuries. His recovery from the psychological trauma will undoubtedly be lifelong. My husband was also shot three times, once in the vest, once in his neck, and one fatal gunshot wound to his head. That morning, our lives stopped and our world came crashing down. My husband, my girl's father, our family rock was gone. Chris was a son, brother, uncle, cousin, respected coach, and trusted friend. He was a pillar of strength for our family, our community, his police department, and his softball team. He was not an expendable robot. He was not a bad cop looking to pick a fight. He was strong and humble and kind and respectful. He was faithful and committed to uphold the most noble character and integrity. He had a servant's heart and a passion for helping and protecting others. We had big plans. We had big dreams. Everything that we dreamed of was stolen by a repeat felon with an illegal gun. I'd like to address the senators who are in session this week and next. On the day of my husband's funeral, my girls and I committed to defend our police officers. We committed to defend their name, their purpose, their honor, and their badge. We meant every word. We stand here today to hold our state leadership accountable, and we are here today to stand in support of the proposed Fund the Police Act. It is with the utmost respect and compassion that I ask you to not leave your time in Springfield without getting something done to protect the citizens of Illinois. There is a significant sense of urgency for your action. Our lives depend on it. You had an opportunity to send this proposal to committee yesterday and you didn't. You have four days left. Do not let the state of Illinois down. Do something to ensure the safety of the residents who elected you to make these decisions. The people in our state need you to show up in the same way that our officers are showing up for us on a daily basis. As I stated during my husband's funeral, it is time to start celebrating our heroes and stop victimizing felons. It is time to hold people accountable for their actions and stop giving them an option to be a career, to make a career out of being a felon. Be present, be accountable, be a leader, make the right choice. Public safety is a bipartisan issue, not one to be argued between Democrats and Republicans. Trust me, my husband's killer did not stop to ask him if he was a Democrat or Republican before he shot him three times. It does not matter what side of the line you sit on. Bullets are flying on the streets of Illinois, and it, they don't differentiate between political parties. This issue supersedes all political boundaries, 
and bullets kill regardless of where you place yourself on the political continuum. Your decision or lack thereof will expose how you prioritize the safety of the citizens in Illinois. Your decision or lack thereof will communicate your desire for personal accountability or not. Your decision or lack thereof may save lives or it may cost them. The decision is yours. Be mindful, be thoughtful, and be purposeful to make a decision for our safety. In God, we trust. May he be with you wherever you go. Thank you.